All right, we're on the road here, heading to do a little catfishing. Uh, so yesterday, I was out on the Minnesota River, and the river right now is pretty much flooding. It's at flood stage. Uh, the water temps are 55, lots of trees, lots of debris. Uh, we did catch a few uh, channel cats, but for the most part, everything is pretty tough to catch right now. I mean, you can go out and catch a few fish, uh, but today's a beautiful day. It's sunny, 70 degrees. I thought I'd do something a little different. We'll head up north and we're gonna hit a lake with some channel cats in it. And uh, I've never tried this in the spring before, but I do know the spring of the year, the water temps start warming up, you know, get above that 50 to 60 degrees. Those pre-spawn channel cats uh, get really active and they'll move into the shallows and get pretty aggressive and they can be a lot of fun. So uh, what's better than to find a, a lake with full of channel cats and getting pretty big now, actually, uh, you know, they. 20, 20 plus pounds. So um, we stopped at Fleet Farm. We got some sucker minnows. We're going to head out there and uh, toss out some sucker minnows and hopefully find a few channel cats. Uh, it's more of an adventure than anything. Uh, like I said, not a whole lot going on today. It's a beautiful day and uh, got my yard work done this morning. So we're headed to the lake. So uh, hopefully next thing you see is me out on the water and catching some fish. All right, we made it out here on the water. Basically all I'm going to do I got this uh, medium powered uh, ugly stick GX2. I got a uh, piece of sucker on a, I don't know, like a seven knot hook. And I'm basically just running a, a bobber and I'm gonna run it, I don't know, about three feet, two to three feet. And uh, we're just gonna toss it around the shoreline and see if we can't find an active cat. If they're not up shallower, we'll move a little deeper. We'll try some areas around some weeds and stuff. and. Uh, We'll just let the fish tell us what they're going to do. Water temp is 59. It's perfect. We may end up going really shallow. Those fish might be shallow. Um, we'll just see if we can find them. Let's cast one out and see what happens. I just saw a nice one surface right over here by shore. Let's see if we can find that one. Not giving it very long between casts here, just trying to actively find some fish. I'm actually marking some on the sonar right now. This time of year, these channel cats seem to be pretty shallow so I'm not afraid to go even up in uh, two or three feet of water. Just heard another one surface back there. Definitely fish around. Water's really clear. I'm actually seeing f big fish swimming around here and I don't know if they're cats or if they're carp. But they're big, whatever they are. I'm guessing they're carp, but I'm not sure. I might try to go a little deeper. No activity back here, other than those fish we've seen, which I'm not sure exactly what they were. I'd have to try a little different area. I don't know if you can see how clear this water is, but, and it's crystal clear. Lots of weeds too. Probably a little too weedy in there. See if we can work the edge of this. All right, so we tried out a little deeper here, right on the edge of the weed line. And uh, throw on spot lock, we try a bottom rig here for a bit, see if anything's a little deeper here. We have to keep, keep moving around, see if we can find them. I did find a spot here 
big eight foot flat where uh, I see fish surfacing all around me and I'm pretty sure they're catfish. So I got my bobber set about seven feet, seven and a half feet. And uh, it might be under right now, actually. Yes, it is. Well, I guess that's the ticket. Just had to search for him. <laughs> right on cue. All right. Oh, that was fun. Took some searching, no doubt about it. All right, not a bad guy. Right, 20 incher. So today is uh, May 5th. You know what that means? Cinco de Miao. <laughs> All right. Well, that didn't take long at all. You see, I don't have any weight on here. I just have it set at about seven and a half feet. Put a little piece of cut bait on there. Get it out there. All right. Let's get another one. Sure would be nice to have two or three lines out here. Basically uh, relying on one spot. <laughs> Hope you cast in the right area or a fish finds it. Yes, see another one just surfaced right out here. I think this whole this whole flat right here has fish on it. Kind of goes down into a hole down there. If I keep seeing fish surfacing out here, I'll probably move a little deeper. They definitely were not shallow. All right, looks like we're down again here. Oh, oh there we go. I casted that one out deeper here. He smoked it. Not a very big one. It's definitely fun though. All right. You gotta find the bigger ones. All right. There we go. Another little croaker. All right, so that was a little deeper. These are two bait minnows. All right, that was two and 10 minutes. I think we found them. All right, we're down again. He smoked it. Uh, never gets old. It feels a little better. Oh, definitely better. Oh yeah. Come on, fella. There we go. Alrighty. Too much fun. That one's a little better. It's got to be uh, almost 24 inches. Very nice. Another Cinco de Miao. Alright. See you later. So yeah, it's mostly just a uh, wait for him to find it here. Just got spot lock and these fish just must be cruising around. Wait for him to find my bait. I'd love to have four or five lines out, but you know how that goes. All right, well, 
Wish I could have figured out that pattern a little bit quicker than that. Only got a, a few fish after figuring that out, but uh, I'll know for next time for sure. A little bit deeper this time of year and a little bit slower than the summer, but uh, the fish seem to be in about 8 to 11 feet of water. Um, yeah, next time I'll know for sure. Still was a great day out on the water. Thanks for watching.